to get to your general settings on SkewGrid, you start by simply clicking on the settings link on the left and you can then click on the general button and that will bring you to your general settings and as these settings are general it means they apply to skew grid overall and the, there are really just three main settings here that you need to look at to get started with Amazon dropshipping the first one is check supplier item every the second is maximum days before dispatch at supplier and thirdly the complexity level which has to do with the skew grid interface now I will explain each one first of all check supplier item every check supplier item every is asking how often you want skew grid to check your supplier for any changes with that product one check is equal to one credit and when you start a free trial with skew grid they give you if I remember correctly about 999,000 credits so you have plenty of credits to start with so obviously the more often you're checking at the supplier the more credits you will use more quickly if your supplier does not change very often which is the case with a number of suppliers then every three hours should be fine however if you can imagine an item that sells frequently and a supplier that goes out of stock easily and quickly then you definitely would want to check your items a lot more often even every hour so um, I think every hour is the safest thing but again it, it really depends on which suppliers you're working with some suppliers stock change more often than others so you can decide whether to go with every hour or every three hours and obviously every hour might cost a bit more uh, but it will really help you with certain suppliers now for the second option we have maximum days before dispatch at supplier and for this option this is the number of days that you're willing to wait for a supplier to ship an item many suppliers let it be known how long it takes for them to ship items so by setting this number if you set this number for instance to three it means that you are only willing to wait three days for an item to be shipped so if a supplier lets it be known that they take seven days to ship an item skewgrid is not going to let you try to sell this item because skewgrid knows that you're only willing to wait three days to ship that item so it could have to do with the supplier or it could have to do with that particular item at that particular supplier it could be that there could be certain items that take longer to ship than others so that could be part of it as well but however this is where you're setting how long you are willing to wait for something to be shipped or how long you want the dispatch time to be at a supplier now the third thing to look at is the complexity level and this really only has to do with skew grid itself uh, I say to start off you can use the simplified setting just so that your interface will be a little easier to look at and um, you won't really need some of the other options right now that are on the advanced and if you want to you can still always go back and change this to advance if you want the advanced uh, interface for your settings and now I will go ahead and save the settings as they are and those are your general settings your general settings were saved and now we can proceed to the next part of the training